All right, let's play ourselves another Fairy Tale Fables round. This time around, we're looking at Dionysus, Pig Entrepreneur, Good Leprechaun, Icar Icarus. I <laughs> mouth failed on Icarus. Let's play another. I haven't played Dionysus today, and I like Dionysus. Oh, I get my upgrade right away, but I think I'm going to delay that because holy crap, owls. Owls in a spell. This is weird. I've never waited on the Dio upgrade, but this shop is so good that I think I just play it. I don't think you... I don't think you get cute and start free rolling. I'll have uh, an upgraded something or other. Why is it that OBS is showing the inline? So you've clipped it, called it Kivial Hacking, which... Thank you for clipping that, bam. Why is it that OBS is showing me the preview of the clip in line, whereas Chrome isn't doing that anymore? Chrome used to do that. Why, is, why did Chrome change? Okay, let's do a doot and a doot. Oh, I want to doot that doot. Man, I want to see if I can catch a one cost item or another burb, so I just should roll. Uh, upgrade a bluebell's all right. Uh, it might be all right enough to just do it. Charge two stars to deal three damage after three attacks if you have less than seven stars. It's funny because the, the wording on this... That's part of the confusion I'm just now realizing. Charge two stars that deal three damage after three attacks. If you have less than seven stars. It's not that they don't charge if you have more than seven stars. Well, they... It's not that they do three damage after three attacks if you have less than seven stars. They only charge... They're only seven total star slots. Just sell your whole board and buy it. Uh, that's an idea, ma'am. <laughs> Oh, they have eye attack. I'm jealous. I don't have eye attack. I probably do need to just fling the free spell because I spent three on a four gold. Or not the free, but the one cost spell to kind of like smooth out the gap there. A few more spells cast though for the owls is good. So I could probably get into mages if I get the right treasures and hero power hits. But the problem with this is I'm not going to be getting a whole lot of treasures early because I'm going to be buying upgraded stuff out of the shop, which means, you know, shops already, they're pre-upgraded. When you get an upgraded character from Dionysus, you don't get a treasure for that. So I'll probably get some pretty good tempo this coming turn, but not necessarily a direction. Huh. I always want to find direction. You know, you always, I think that's one of the biggest baits in auto battlers at times is locking in on a game plan. Sometimes you definitely play yourself if you don't lock in on a game plan. And then this one, you know, the way the tribes work together, sometimes you have to lock in on a game plan very early. Like if you're playing fluff fluffs, you got to get that started on level three. So it's always, but it's always tempting because it feels more comfortable to know what I want to do, right? To know where I'm planning to go. But the real skill is knowing how to relax for a second and not worry about it and let it happen. That's easier said than done sometimes. All right, well, I think next roll I get my upgraded character. None of this is inspiring me. Playful Dachshund could be fun. Yeah, hopefully I can get another dog. But even if I don't, I could always, I could always new you it, transform it up one level. Plus Blizzard for sure, because it buffs the burbs. Okay. Okay. Oh, good luck, Antropo. Are you Anti? Are you one of the blank names? Are you the Almighty Nat? Or wait a minute. Are you Horse Thief? Oh, you're Anti. Okay, that's the one I guessed because, you know. <laughs> so you got the treasure hamster. You also have two burbs. Yeah, we fought, but I think we tied. Your board looks good for this turn of the game. Clearly, you got the memo about the tempo. In this game, you definitely need to tend to your tempo, just like any other game like it. I probably will just do this in case of Sandstorm, AKA analog to Earthquake from SBB, but the damage your front row spell opens up on this level. If somebody were to choose to cast that spell, I might uh, prefer to have most of my stuff on the back line. I need a dog here and probably just another dachshund, even if I don't get an upgraded one. Or we could chase. We could chase. 
Oh, that's not the hit. Oh, let him cook. Although I think... I think I put that as a tier 2 emote because I ran out of slots for stuff, so... Oh, wow. Okay, we're keeping the dachshund, but this is amazing for this fight. Who is fighting me right now? I wonder if they're actually live in the lobby. If they are, this is a silly amount of strength. Just for this one turn, and then it goes away next turn because the dandelion changes back to the dachshund. Puck has to get popped first, ideally. Holy crap, I'm gonna charge. I'm gonna charge so many stars. I think I probably do save the new U, but maybe I upgrade the Puck, actually. Yeah, I do save the new U for the upgrade on the Puck, because we're not gonna... No, I don't think this is actually a star comp. This is not a final star comp piece. This is not a final star comp piece. This is only a temporary transform. And I don't want to sell three to get to this to, like, bump it up to five. So I'm gonna have a Dachshund again, a Puck, and a Star Child next turn. I think we're going to transform the puck up. This is a good way to start on stars, but the other thing is I don't have any treasures that, like, suggest I play stars either. Huh? Going to go ahead and laugh that that was my single strongest turn this game, and I fought somebody with an empty board for the most part. All right, let's upgrade puck. Let's get a random upgraded. Huh. I'm gonna have some stars f firing off for a moment here, Shush. Uh, you know what? I take an upgraded board farm boy. It ain't much, but it's honest work. There's no three in the shop. I like much better. It's only a, yeah, you know, it's like a six six, right? It gives four four. It gives two two twos to your backline. But one of my backliners is ranged. Matter of fact, oh, we should have the order more like this, maybe. Sure, whatever. That's not very good the board farm boy, but hopefully it buffs a range. Maybe I even play one fewer characters on the back line to give it a better shot at hitting this now, too. Sure. Okay, let's go. Well, it's looking more stars after that upgrade. Uh, farm boy is not a dog. Dog or farmer? Dismemberist? Huh. Oh, support my stars. That was why that was there. Okay, thank you for the reminder. There was a reason I had the bad thing in front of the good support as opposed to the good thing in front of the good support. Okay, thank you both, Dismemberist and Icarist. <laughs> good God. Oh, it takes a village. It takes a village to position this board. Oh, they got a chameleon and they put it in four because they don't want it going off, which fair enough. I think I can help make sure it doesn't go off. <laughs> you like to build hunter boards, so pivot. Now, we're building the Dionysus board. We don't know what we're playing yet. Dionysus will show us the way here. Don't you worry about that. If you're worried if that Dionysus may or may not show us the way, Di Dionysus will tell us what to do. Ah, see, with the Dachshund, I'm supposed to want the adventuring husky, but with the star stuff... I'm, I'm a, I want to see if I can hit an upgrade of four that I like. Maybe I'm supposed to take that adventuring husky, and I was supposed to take it last time. Nah. 4 0. Upgraded Fluff Fluff. That's an 8 4, and it grows. Oh, you've already been there? This dachshund gets all over the place. Yeah, I'm taking it. Just stats. I'm going to give my range character plus 5 attack, and I'm going to go. And I'm going to roll up the next Dionysus, grab, and see if it's any good. Games today are good. I, uh... I think I did anything terribly weird yet, but I've, I've been having fun. Played Hunters last game. That was fun. Lost to Kivdorf. I think right now what I want to primarily do is play fun builds that may not necessarily be the main meta builds right now. But sometimes you just want to get a crown, and to get a crown, sometimes you got to play the meta. What up, sweater dude?
These little three power stars are looking less impressive, but you know, they did pretty good. That monkey has nothing to buff yet. Okay. That could be a problem. Early, early on when you start constructing a monkey board, it's a little sketchy. It doesn't necessarily come together until a little later. There we go. Y'all can have those slots. You just get that. The main meta build is one pirate slot with anything else. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that, that's what I'm saying is I don't necessarily want to just throw a Barbarossa and a Duelist onto every board. Even before they're nerfed, even though I know that while they're in the state that they're in, you kind of got to. You probably should. That said, I skipped all the adventuring huskies with my upgraded docks, and that was a line toward... But I can't really be playing dogs till 6 anyway, you know? I need something really cool that I really like. And I'm not finding anything. It's a lot of pirate tech. I could charge up even more stars that do 3 damage. That doesn't seem like a plan. I mean, upgraded cat box for lack of better thing. I'm not really enjoying not finding experience, and I'm not really enjoying what Dionysus is offering me, and I think I just roll for XP. I am tired of being this level and being offered bad stuff. Upgraded Mycroft. Well, I probably actually do lose or tie here, if I had to guess. So, well, I didn't... Well, Toy Dino ties. Toy Dino ties. You've had a lot of fun growing horse thieves. Yeah, the, the horse thief card is a solid tempo piece. Can definitely give you a big boost through the middle and then you're just like, you're perfectly happy you grabbed it and chased it for a little while. I do like the horse thief card too. I think it, I think it just plays well, feels well designed. It's not like a big obnoxious thing that gets out of control, but you can carry you through the middle game for sure. I think it's pretty big in the end. The brave little toaster. Oh, <laughs> dang it, I won. <laughs> Well, dang it, Bobby. Okay, you haven't been there. Figuring out where to put these two. I mean, it made the board farm boy actually a good pickup. Now, I, I picked it up maybe for the wrong reasons, or maybe not for the wrong reasons, but I, you know, I wasn't expecting much from it when I picked it up. Eh, I will take that. I'm really hoping to new you, but this refunds the mana. Oh, one extra. Shop sells an extra. Your sleigh. None of these do anything. Skip. I want to see if I can double upgrade this fool this turn. Come on. Come on. Oh, I got to take that. All right. Well, looks like I'm just playing a succubus this turn. Yeah, this works. I got to take an upgrade of Brave Little Taylor. That seems silly to ignore. I just want to go there and there. You've been there. You've been there. You haven't been there. You haven't been there. You can go there. You can go there. We can just put the bird in the last slot. I don't lock for uh, XP when I'm going to five. Didn't have high attack there. I mean, still had high attack. Toy Dino has high attack, follower. All right. You can't deny. You can't deny the high attack. The Toy Dino just has it. It's just it's built in. It's a feature. It's like looking at my face and saying there's no beard. It's just there. Toy Dino always has high attack. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> I love that. I love it. I don't have a... I didn't make a Toy Dino I have high attack meme, but that is probably my favorite meme in this entire game. Uh, since at least this morning, Rocker Cracker. Might have been longer, but I don't know. Suck your boss! Oh wow! Bonk 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 bonk! Wow! Suck your boss! <laughs> yeah, kind of just generically mid-game tempo you there. You have not been there recently. You have not been there recently. You have not been there. This fool wants to be in this slot. It's getting a lot harder to get the board farm boy and the dachshund to go together in the way that I want. Okay, this works. What do we... We're looking for another cool Dionysus hit or a card that just plays so well that I can't ignore it, like a star child. Now that... 
It seems like I'm kind of stuck with the dandelion for a moment. Watson? No. Not a Watson Gretel. I mean, Watson and Gretel together is kind of interesting, but... It does not fit this board. This uh, doesn't exactly fit this board, but it doesn't not fit this board, if you know what I'm saying. I don't know that I can get to puffs from here, but I'm tempted to give it a go. Weird. Definitely weird. I think we're just not playing the board farm boy no more. Okay. Character 4-4. Four, four. I'm going to need to find a lot more fluffs. I'm going to need to find a lot more fluffs. For sure. I think I take the roll though because the upgrades are sometimes useful and significant and can improve my board much faster than anything else can, especially when I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not pair gaming on this. The only pair I made was the Apprentice Owl and I got the treasure and I skipped it. There's no treasures involved in this gameplay so far. You feel scammed? It's gonna happen. I, I it wasn't really scammed though. I was, I, I did, well, no, no, it was totally scam. I had a succubus. What are you talking about? I scammed you. Oh yeah, yeah never mind. Yeah, you, 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 you definitely, should feel scammed after that. I... This might be... the worst idea to pick up this purple fluff. I wonder how quickly I can get relevant numbers growing through these fluffs, but a lot of people are in weird spots. Like, it'll be interesting to see. I bet this board is about the same size as mine, if I had to guess, right? Because everybody's making a whole bunch of weird decisions. They've got one really big thing, and it took out my sniper. Eh, they're bigger than me. No, I thought I was going to be... Eh, no. It was pretty even, actually. We tied. Never mind. Purple fluff doubles the dying breath effect of the fluffs in front of it. Only fluffs. Unless you get Symbol of Unity, which is a level 5 treasure. That removes that restriction for tribe and type. Uh, it's one of the only things that Symbol of Unity does is allow purple fluff to double a dying breath of something else. Where's that sucker? Is it a six now? Has it been a six for a while? Okay, it's a six. Symbol of unity is a six, not a five. Yeah. Hey, Chris, is that a six? Since, since when's that a six? All right. I don't. I want to buy Narcissus, but I think I need some more fluffs if I'm really going to be fluffing over here. No. If I'm going to get extra fluffy, maybe I should have taken that star child, but I'm... The thing is, if you're going to play fluffs, you got to commit. You got to be all in on fluffs. There's no halving fluffs. They need to stack the stats to be able to fight later and I haven't done anything with fluffs to start the game I just barely started playing them so I feel like I need to get about a dozen of them on my board including an, another upgraded purple fluff ideally from a roll oh upgraded Sinbad you have so many fun things you can do with this hero you came back to a fluff pivot on five because an upgraded purple fluff got rolled in the shop from the Dionysus hero power and I went ah, okay all right, let's take a look at this. Yeah, you know, my board looks like it fights that, right? Uh, it's not, these aren't quite big enough. They're, they're about the same size as my opponent's front line, but my front line is roughly the same size as my opponent's front line. The bird's about the same size. Oh, they, wait, did they just get, I think they just got the lamp. I think it has two turns left when that counter is zero. I think it ticks up to one and then two and then it opens. I think they don't have a level eight treasure this fight. Oh my God. Is there a way that I could do as much damage to them as humanly possible so that they don't get a chance to play with that high tier treasure. No offense, but that's gotta be your, it's gotta be your goal when you see something like that, you know? Uh, there's nothing else to do. I'm pretty okay with this. Man, that level eight scares me. I don't know what they're gonna get. I don't know what they're gonna be. If I can get enough uh, fluff growth, I can get there, I think, maybe. I don't know. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm really not sure if this will get big enough to fight the late late. Like, if it doesn't, I feel like I'm gonna have to go into scam. Actually, the upgraded purple fluff, I think, triples the dying breath. Yeah, or no, it does. Instead of doing it an additional time, it does it in an, an additional two. So the fluff would usually do it once. When you have one of these, it does it twice. When you have an upgraded one, it does it three times. But this one should be going off four times. They'll grow fairly quickly, but I need a lot more fluffs. Oh, are you joking me right now? Are you telling me the joke? Someone is telling me the joke. How am I going to get two upgraded fluffs? Oh, I guess I'm glad I bought the last upgraded fluff. 
I need them. Like I said, I need to get more of them, and I need more of them, and I just immediately get more. Let's get some more, though. Oh, that's fun. Actually, that's real fun. That's smart. And final. <laughs> Shout out to Southern California. I'm taking it. If I can get a double dying breath thing on there, the, the best part about this is it can cast Cersei's Cup in the late game. This is a sweet scam piece. Upgraded book mages are cool. I like them as like an extra level of scam in the later game. Was it? I feel like there was a book mage involved in the making of Ninja Snipers win on Saturday over Endo. Spoilers, but uh, <laughs> that was already announced in the Discord and everybody knows who was around. But if you haven't seen the tournament, uh, just ignore that. That, that. that doesn't mean anything. But I thought... I thought there was a book mage because I know there was a Cersei's cup that took out Endo's best wolfed Dr. Frankenstein or one. Of, I think I think Endo actually had multiple wolf Dr. Frankensteins, but I know a, like a scam spell cast from the shop took one away. But I thought there was another scam piece that like a book mage double cast or maybe it was a fire mage. Ah, shoot. Can't tell the story. I don't remember it well. Oh yeah, I never told the story of uh, my internet going out on Christmas Eve. So we did, we did on Saturday, Yuck Jeebus and I, and you know, Kiv and Bam and Lara and Swift. And there, there, are, there are a lot of folks around uh, either on the stream and on the cast or behind the scenes helping out and doing stuff and making that thing move. But we did that on Saturday. We did a, the launch event tournament. And the next morning, for whatever reason, like, I got done with that, and I pretty much just, like, took a deep breath and didn't do a whole lot of thinking for the rest of the day because that was a fair amount of effort and energy to get that over the line. And I was pretty I was pretty content with what had happened and how it went, and uh, I was pretty content taking a break. And so I think I went to sleep fairly early, but I woke up the next day at 4 a.m. for no reason. No good reason. There was no reason for me to be awake at 4 a.m. the next day. But I woke up the next day at 4 a.m., and my internet was out. And, you know, the next day was the 24th, a.k.a. Christmas Eve. And... My internet was just down all day, Christmas Eve. And somehow, with the event that knocked it out, it managed to also knock out the nearest cell phone tower too. So my internet went down and then my thing that I would have used for entertainment while my internet was down, you know, where I would have gone to go get some internet while I didn't have good internet. Also didn't have internet. <laughs> So I, I get like this, I can't use, I can't get cellular data inside my house, right? I have to, at some point in the day, I, I realize I can go outside and I can get just like the smallest amount of data. It's like I'm on a, it's like I'm on a dial up modem with as fast as images are loading on the data that I was getting outside. So I'm out there going out, I'm, I'm, I'm alternating because, you know, I don't have internet inside. So, you know, I don't have PC games. I don't have, and I had forgotten entirely until like, two hours before I was going to bed or two hours. Well, eventually the cellular data came back toward the end of the night and I could play around on my phone some. But I, the, the other fun thing also was that I got access to Once Upon a Galaxy. I got that email that day going, hey, here's access. You're part of the closed beta group now. And I was like, oh, baby. But I couldn't download it because I, I didn't have any cellular data. I couldn't I couldn't get the stupid... I want to say I don't want to say stupid thing because it's not a stupid thing, but I couldn't, I, couldn't get, I couldn't get the game on my phone. It was... So anyway... Oh, wow, that's pretty good. I'm looking for a uh, blue fluff. B blue fluff. Blue fluff, by the way. Blah, 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 blah. Looking for a blue fluff, by the way. I found a lot of extra fluffages. What are we up against here? I think I just play all the fluffs. I'm saving the book as a scam piece. I'm never playing the bird again. I'm going to trade the dachshund out and put a shield on that because it makes me happy. And I'm going to cast the spell because it makes me happy. Also, wait, now they had two chairs. I saw that on the scout, so that'll pop a shield. That's a good chair. So anyway, uh, I'm inside. I realize I can go out to the driveway. I can pull up a, like a web page, but it takes forever to load. Like I'm on a dial up and I, I go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And I, I, when I'm inside the house for a, a chunk of the day, I was just putting music on my receiver from my phone because I have, you know, like a whole bunch of songs on my phone. And I was just sitting there on the couch listening to music and singing along because I was like, I don't know how to spend my time. <laughs> So that was interesting. And then eventually the cellular data came back strong enough that I could chat with people on Discord from the couch, which let me tell you, being able to chat with people on Discord inside the house as opposed to having to go outside of the house to go chat with people, that that that, that was a big boom. I liked it. I was, uh, 
Those who beg cannot also then therefore choose, as the old saying goes. The one who does the begging may not also always be the one doing the choosing, as the old saying goes. Let's put flying on that fool. We definitely want to go swinging into the squishy, squishy, nice stuff in the back line there. Okay. I don't really want to sell two for the apple. I'm very happy I found my fluff leader. King Fluffer, a.k.a. Fluff Leader. Yeah, that was interesting. And then, of course, internet came up, and then it was Christmas Day, and then I was spending time with fam, and that was nice. I had a, I had a really nice weekend. It was nice. Oh, weird. Never, never, never heard it that way, Dabby. <laughs> I love butchered phrases. Okay, I, I absolutely, my favorite, I've told the story a bunch of times, but my, I, I worked with this guy who was a sales guy. And he was doing a pitch. I was sitting on the call because I was a project manager at the time. And I was kind of just like sitting there because I knew the system real well. He knew what he was selling real well. So he's pitching the product and he's talking about stuff. And he, was wanting to em he wants to emphasize to the client just how convenient this is going to make things for them. And he tells him it's going to be like two birds out of the park. <laughs> That's just... <laughs> I loved it. We, uh, the... So there, were, there was me, there was him, there was his boss, right? Another sales guy that I had worked with longer than I had this sales guy. And after he said it, we all looked around and the stifled laughter, the holding back. <laughs> that was a fun moment in my life. I enjoyed that. I kind of, I know that the acolyte in the back line here is real, real spicy. I can take out two, three of my things if it gets a chance to shoot them. And this bird is also taking out two of my fluffs. It's just like a math equation, right? Bird can eat two fluffs. So two of my fluffs are gone to a bird. Two of my fluffs are probably gone to a shooter. Can my other three fluffs kill the rest? I don't know. A portmanteau. I like that. I, I've heard that before, but I never knew what it meant. I probably said it wrong, portmanteau. So, mm, squishy. Oh, okay. That did not get to take out two fluffs. Oh, and Burb can't take out two fluffs because they got enough attack from the double ups and the slays. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fluff leader is just absolutely crucial for this to do anything. All right, all right. What do we got here? Romeo, Juliet, definitely throw a Cersei's cup. I'm not even going to second guess that. Maybe even forego an ounce of scaling to put this on. This is going to be one of my scam piece options when I feel like I might not have the stats. So you got to look at this. 300% of my stats, right? So that's going to triple. So it's going to give 300, 180, 300, 190 to this Romeo when it pops. So that's going to be a, uh, eh. The 190 part going over 200 HP is going to be a bit of a problem for these fluffs. But there are a lot of cats, too, for the fluffs to slay. I don't know. It'd be nice to get a double boost item. It'd be nice to get a double dying breath item. Nice. Yeah, I, I, know, I've heard the, I know I've heard the term before, but I've never actually bothered to wonder what it could mean. Oh, I can't, I don't have any mana. I don't have any mana, so I can't take a double boost this turn. How did I squander all my mana? Did I somehow do a thing last turn that applied to this turn? I put flying on that last turn. I don't remember spending any mana this, oh, did I cast it? I cast Cersei's Cup right at the start of that. That's how I had 10 gold. I immediately started the turn with the Cersei's Cup. Finally show up and apparently this is Fluff Town. Come on down to Fluff Town. It's, you know, it's a little bit better than Flavor Town. Your characters have one, two, your starting board has buffs, your spells cost less, and you have one more mana. Uh, it's probably cheaper spells and one more mana. More options to do goofy stuff. The nice part, too, is that it refills that one empty mana right now, too, so I can roll, and if I find a spell that's decent here, I can play it. Like, I could actually find a second Cersei's Cup, and if I could afford it, I could get to it. And eh, minus 14 to the back is cool. I don't think it's useful. Uh, attacking first is cool. I think that is useful. Okay, that's my spell. Cersei's Cup attack first. We need more blue fluffs. We need more ascensions just to plain upgrade the blue fluff. We need really good items. Okay, let's go. Cool. Getting to symbol of unity and dropping a dog on this board doesn't seem like it's going to happen this game. Yeah, Ebo, that one is very situationally useful, and when it's not useful, it's really not that useful. You're not that excited about it. Oh, definitely did a good job waiting on popping that dog till later. 
I cannot outstat this at the moment. I might be able to get over the top of that, though. Maybe. Depends. If I can fight the right board and get enough slays... Uh, I can slay the tar out of this board until the Sherlock's pop. If I can get an attack first, that might be really good. When the Sherlock's pop, this board is going to double its attack to 32, and I think the next one will double it again to 64, right? It doubles the 32. So it, it adds 100%, right? It adds another 16, and then... If these get an extra 32 HP, I can still slam. Or if it goes up to 64 and they get an extra 48 HP, I can still slam. Even this one. All right. I'm not as worried about that. I definitely need to find the big power stuff I was looking for. Doing 100. Hold on. 100 is relevant. But it also might pop the Sherlock to start the fight, which is less good. Let's see if I get the, an Ascension spell first. Get an upgrade. Whew. Where was that when I was playing Hunters? Where were you, upgraded Sherlock Holmes? Where were you? Could trade out a Dio. Dio's not doing a whole heck of a lot. A Trophy Hunter would be a real big upgrade. I think I should swap Hero. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I like the extra treasure slot, but I'm not making... Well, you get an extra treasure. No, it's definitely... It's definitely... <laughs> Dedalus. I gotta play some Dedalus. I forgot the, the double up. That's good. That feels good. Where, oh, where are my treasures? Where, oh, where can they be? That's a big fluffy fluff right there. I'm going to nickname you Sir Fluffington. The fluffiest of the fluffs. That's a really good scam piece, too. We're never using the bird. Sell the bird. All right, cool. Oh, right, 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 right. Uh, Frenzy also, I should have updated that case then. Frenzy is back online. Frenzy was a code that was for tournament day only, but it got turned back on. Frenzy is back online. So if you haven't used code Frenzy yet, you can get another 4,000 gems with that. I think until tomorrow, Baby Mimic doesn't work with Pirate Safe? Well, it does, but you can't, if you were looking to get a level eight Antrippa, there's only one way you can do that. I think it should work with Pirate Safe, though. Ooh, yeah, that Gretel bird, or Gretel Hansel. The Hansel's big. Bang, bang, bang. All right, we tied. You were sad you missed it. You'll do it after the game. Yeah, I, I, I know it got re-enabled today because I, I used it today to test it just to make sure. Shift, it's good to see you also. Ties are just more scaling. I guess that's true. Burn my kids' bagels and will be attempting to serve them without acknowledging this fact. <laughs> Please speak kindly of me at my funeral. You, you can make another bagel, probably. I don't want to tell you how to live your life, but you know, this you could do another one too. It's up to you. It's... What am I up against? I should do some scouting. Oh, that's a big old fire mage. All right, we need some scamages, but nothing has changed in that regard. I have needed scamages for a lot of this game now. All right, I'm gonna get two level six treasures here. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. So I guess I'll wait two turns for a level seven. Uh, I kind of like that, but I don't think I need that. Wait a minute. This is perfect. I don't really intend to trade things around. What I got? Three, four, three, four, two threes, two fours, two fives, and a six. So if I put a four on the board, I'd have to pull a four off the board. If I put a four on the board, I'd have to pull a four off the board. It's the only one that's doing anything here, and it is actual stats here. I don't know how incredibly useful they are, but better than nothing. I really want a scam spell. I'm kind of looking at this board and a little bit concerned. Uh, that's not a scam spell. Oh, I keep expecting to find upgraded stuff in the shop, and I'm not Dionysus anymore. I just got the biggest benefit I possibly could from my hero power. Nah, let's keep rolling. Yeah, I was concerned I would bump into that, and then I'd have to decide if I wanted to get rid of the book mage or the brave little tailor. I gotta look at these boards. What are we up against? What? 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 That must be a graphical glitch of some sort. Why do I feel like brave little tailor is probably the one I want the most? There are no entrance effects, so let's just take the aura. Okay. Literally the last two bagels. Oh, wow. Incredible. 
Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. I don't think I'm going to perish here. I'm not winning this. That's not enough to, uh, that's not enough to KO me. That is kind of freaky because my board's not doing a lot of shenanigans. So now I have to determine what would it be to possibly get over the top of that. That uh, chair would counter that. If the fire mage couldn't instantly kill three things, I'd have a much better fight. Chair could be good. How's this king board looking? Very spooky. That's a lot. That's that's more stats than I got. I haven't outscaled. I think I'm going to have to somehow figure out how to scam. I should have bought that duelist. Well, the level 7 treasure could be interesting, too. None of this is entrance effect, Olaf. It's all dying breath and boost. Puffs are all dying breath and boost. So... Drum may have been better, yes, for the pieces that I don't have yet that I may need to add to have a chance to survive. Like, Drum, the fact that Drum may have been better just in the fact that I could maybe find a Barbarossa and a Monkey and that would have been enough to really <laughs> buoy my board to more power. A little ridiculous. You might be right, but it, for the build that I have on the board, Drum does nothing. <laughs> Presuming I thought I was going to win with Puff Puffs. Well, you're probably just so used to it being, like, the best darn thing in general. Because with the pirate monkey being what the pirate monkey is right now, and with the pirate monkey doing what the pirate monkey does right now, that drum is a big pain in the butt. No, why am I getting such, like, nothing inspiring? I think it is just Barbarossa Duelist Monkey at this point, or Barbarossa Monkey... Because, you know, it's not like I, I can buy and upgrade uh, some of these fluffs. I, I really am just looking for scam spells. But if you're scamming to stay alive while you're playing a stats build, that's not that's not a good sign. Believe me. <laughs> you can see. It's on your screen right now. I think I just saved the gold. Yeah, you know what? Fine. Bum, bum, bum. Twenty one X two on the hero power. Definitely did some upgrading to the hero power. Ooh, got the cat queen. The queen has fallen. Uh, I'm gonna get there, right? Yeah, because of the unyielding. Cool. Get there on the tie, though. It's not that exciting. All right, what do we get? What do we get? Your shop characters are upgraded and cost one less gold. That ain't bad. What are we up against? Uh, board, I think I can at least tie... I don't know. That upgraded Sherlock's a problem. 200% attack. It's going to go up to 120. Hmm. It's going to go up to like 130. But yeah, this is going to get over 300 health. When that goes up to 130, this will get double that. So it'll get 260. So this will be 400 health. And then this one will be like 350. 360. Uh, I, I, I didn't... My puffs didn't get big fast enough, right? So what upgraded stuff? Again, I, I think it's still just Barbarossas and Duelists and Monkeys and stuff. Just like flinging more trash. Let's go first. I love attacking first. I, I take a Cersei's cup again, of course. <laughs> Why does Hello Darkness, my old friend, seem fitting? Oh, it's because I'm getting clapped. It's because I'm getting clapped. Yeah, okay, fine. Well, what are you? Yeah, this would have been amazing if I had it earlier. I don't know. I think I'm just going to beeline toward this sort of tech for later. <laughs> it's silly, but I could actually just use it right now, potentially to pull two puffs if it works. Live and die by the puff. Well, now live and die by the puff and pirate. It's like Icarus said, my now one obligatory pirate board slot has to exist, and soon that may be two obligatory pirate board slots, but right now it's only one. We only need one obligatory pirate board slot at the moment. But yeah, now I, I, 
I just gotta get the extra stats because I'm gonna not be able to slay and then this board doesn't do anything when I can't slay. Getting the lots in there is nice. Actually, sniping the Van Helsing before the hero attack goes off. Wait, did they get like a double dying breath on their... Oh, wait, I win. Oh, no, tight. Never mind. Never mind. I forgot about the cleanups. <laughs> the Van Helsing effect went off and I'm like, oh, wait, that went better than I expected. Uh, this won't actually do anything until I have a Barba. But let's do that and that. Barba's going to go up in that slot when I find one. Right now, that goes in there and attempts to summon in two fluffs in case of shenanigans. And actually, against this board, that's kind of perfect. Okay, hold on, hold on. Any scamages? Duelist for the eighth fluff. Oh, baby. No guarantee it works, but it's definitely the best thing I can do here. How big is that? Fire Mage 700 attack. That's too much. I'm going to put you up there. I think it gives fewer hits. It has to hit exactly there to take that out. And I do want this to live into the fight, although it might get sniped on the front line, even if it survives the Fire Mage. I think I'm down for 2 HP. 3 HP. I think I'm down for 3 HP. We're going to grab that too. Definitely be grabbing all this kind of stuff. I'll throw that and I'll just buy a one coster. Oh, you know, I am supposed to do that, but I think this actually is more effective this way. Let's just fight it like this. I think this is better. The thing is, so if that if that fire mage takes out three for one, right, it will likely run into a puff and not survive the hit. If it hits here, it goes two for one, but then I'll have two slots to summon in the two extra fluffs. If I do it like this, I might actually be able to throw a fresh support on the backward or on the on the board there. So if the Fire Mage, I run a 1462, you know, I run an empty board slot. So the Fire Mage, probably two for ones or three for ones. But then the Duelist can bring me two back. I don't think I can run the chair and the duel. I don't know. This seems like it works to me for some reason. I don't know why, but I think I lose the fight, but don't die if I had to guess. Woohoo! All right, we are getting into the ultra late though. We're past round twenty. Past round twenty, if people start buying Barbarosas and whatevers, and th th I mean, this is when the level eight treasures come out, and the nonsense really is going on. So this is where the game has officially gone fully off rails. We are in the ultra late. This is where you better be doing all sorts of busted stuff or you're going to be KO'd. What I'm shocked about is that there are five of us still alive. It's like I'm the weakest one and I'm just barely hanging on by a thread because I'm refusing to die. <laughs> or maybe we're all just waiting for Antrepa to get big enough to take us all out. I'm not sure. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know why this many people are alive this long in this game. I don't know why this lobby is going this long. <laughs> this lobby should be over by now. There's my Barba. Bar 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 barosa bar 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 barosa bar 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 barosa bar bar ro 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 bar 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 ro ro ro. Okay, I don't know. Sorry, I'll stop. I'll stop. I promise. Don't need another purple fluff. We are already purple fluffed enough. Double my boost. I do need that. Oh yeah. This can go away easily. Ah, you're not upgraded. And I do want to double up this boost. And I guess then that means we're trading the positions here. Nah, it's probably not. No, no, it can't be like that. It's like this. It's definitely like that. I just don't want Barba getting sniped early. That would suck. This here summons in monkey first for sure. Most important we get the monkey. If, if this gets sniped, it's most important we get the extra monkey stats. Well, it might be more important than we get this. Because it summons Monkey and Duelist. Yeah, I, I, I can do it like this, too. Actually, this makes more sense, I suppose. But then I might... Well, then I might summon a Monkey and a Fluff, and I might miss a Fluff, but both Monkeys will get Barbastat. <laughs> One is glitched, so I think there's four of you? Wait, really? Is that what's happening? Are we just in the top two and there's like some glitched boards there? I think I do lock the purple fluff actually. 
It'd be a better summoning than the... Eh, nah, I don't. I don't. We want to get as many fluffs on the board as we can. Upgraded Barbarossa is weird, because you can't ever depend on getting two. See? You can depend on that happening reliably enough, but you can't ever depend on Upgraded Barbarossa for sure giving you what you're looking for. Well, last time I scammed the Cat Queen. This time I didn't need to. Not a KO, though. So the, the plan is to get as much extra stuff as possible on the board, but also to get some mid-fight board buffs from the monkey because it's just, you know, a good boy effect of 30-20. It's, it's a good boy effect of whatever the Barbarossa can give it. And then I think we're going to legitimately do some Barbarossa buffage. It's not the most relevant stat line yet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're round 22. I gotta do this kind of stuff. I gotta. Okay, well, well, I, no. One is glitched, so I think there are four of you. Oh, this one. This one's the one that doesn't make sense. I've never fought this. I, this board cannot be the last turn board. You're right. This is the glitched one. I don't know what's going on there. I've never seen that before. Debated if I need this mirror fairy, but I think I don't. So now the first monkey I summon is going to be even better. I really want to have two slots for Barbara Barbarossa to summon in both. Really want to get a double Barba summon, but this fluff doesn't die and make space. This fluff doesn't easily die and make space. This fluff actually, eh, if it flies in and smacks Hansel, then it is my biggest thing off the board for their biggest thing off the board. And then I do have space. Well, I... The thing is, when you reach the ultra late game, because of the way that this game operates, you have to be prepared to play all 12 slots on the board. You have to. With the way Barbarossa works and with the way Duelist works and with the way, with the utility that you get from all of that, you have to be prepared to play all 12 slots on the board because there's a lot of power that you can drop into the middle of the fight using your board. Like this monkey is going to get 44.20 from Barba. Oh, well, no, that's doubled, right? 88.40 from Barba. And he's going to share that back with the squad at 133%, except now that's triggering twice. So, <laughs> you just, yeah. That's my biggest gripe in the game and has been for a bit is Barbarossa is silly. Barbarossa is absolutely silly. The fact that it exists means that you have to do stuff with it. <laughs> Because Barbarossa is in the game, you must be ready to play it. Oh, my best fluff. No, well, but the, look at the, look at the, look at the flipping monkey buffs. And I still have more stuff coming on the back end here too, so don't think this is over. Because the other thing is with the stars and hero attack and stuff like that, you need that extra stuff. You need that extra stuff to be able to KO people, right? Otherwise, they'll just hang on forever and ever, like I'm hanging on forever and ever. If you let people hang on forever and ever, they'll usually find some way to scam you out or do something like gross and busted to your board. Uh, I think we take this for right now because there's a chance this backfires and only pulls one monkey. And as long as I have another duelist on the bench, this duelist will always pull the duelist, will always pull the, you know what I mean? But also, what fresh mage nonsense does this board have going on? I really want to find a way to get over the top, and I'm just concerned that that's not that easily doable. I'm afraid to wash my now. Weren't you larger? Oh, I put three characters of the same level. I can't do extra Barbarossa on the board if I okay. We can chain it like that. Although this can't pull Barbarossa, can it? So we can chain it like that. That's not the best. But if there's space for the first Barba to pull both, it'll definitely pull this one, and it'll pull the monkey too. It'll buff both, and if this Barbarossa catches the buff and then pulls this monkey, it'll still share the same buff, or even a better buff, because it's got some of its own base stats too. Okay, no, this works, this works. Just gotta start Barba and then go monkey. I'm so used to... Uh, like Sinbad and Captain Hook effects in these pirate boards at times that... And get a little thrown off. Uh, if this hits the right thing, it could be amazing. If it hits anything else, it's probably useless. Barb into barb into monkey. <laughs> Thank you, Click. I I'm glad that you agree with that because that was what I landed on. Uh, also, I can't do that like that, can I? These two can't be in the same line of fire. 
Yeah, these two, this, this has to be back here, this has to be somewhere over here, and honestly, maybe this goes over here. And then I can just do this and this. Like, the slay effect on the fluff leader doesn't really matter too much. I guess I'm gonna throw the minus hundo. It's not necessarily great. What are you, double entrance? Lock it. Okay. I wonder if it's time for full... Well, the thing is, this is the way pirates are working a lot. People aren't really playing pirate boards when they play pirates. They're playing... They're playing stuff like this. Oh, I lost summons, though. I lost fluffs. I got... I did get scammed out of my fluffs for a tie. Turn 23 should not exist. Well, welcome to turn 24, friend. <laughs> Wait. Oh, okay. So the glitch board is just not here. It never has been. It's just a top two now between me and Auntie and Triple. How? Oh, I got spell scammed on my duelist into, or I got, I got, I got something like a spell popped one and something popped the other. My longest one ever was a 41 round game. I will concede if we get to that point, I'm not going to be locked in this game for the next hour and a half, just because <laughs> I'm locked in this game for the next hour and a half. Kason, thank you for the follow. I honestly upgraded that doesn't really change much, does it? Am I supposed to just be finding more monk? More monkey, more barba. Monkey barba, monkey barba, monkey barba, monkey barba, monkey barba. It's kind of like that. Maybe I do need to get a chair. That fire mage is a bit of an issue. I could have one of my own, but it's not scaled or good. More double entrancing is always good. Oh, I need the duelist, though, to have a shot to pull these out at the end of the sequence here. Uh, it's like if I played a chair, do I just shut down a lot of the shenanigans here? I don't have the money to get at it easily here. And I think that through. If that, if there's a chair up here protecting a summoner in the back line, or if a chair protects both of my summoners, eh, I don't want to. I don't want to figure it out. I don't want a chair. Chair prevents the bad hit on duelist. You're not wrong. But then I gotta play one fluff down. Yeah. Yeah. It's like maybe the blue fluff is not really that relevant anymore. I don't, I can't have these both in the same line of fire, but I did want that one leading. I forgot. I put that second and that's not quite right either. Ah, uh, because I want the Barba to summon the Barba and give more stats to the Barba, and so I want I want I want one Barba to pull out a Barba and a monkey, and then I want the second Barba to pull out the second monkey. The Barbas can't pull out the fluff, so I want the duelist on the back line at the end of the fight to add two more fluffs to my board for another big stat bomb. Oh, the treasure! Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's probably not actually as relevant. I I know I got caught up on it. It's useful. Oh, there we go. That was a better sequence, yeah. Uh, actually, I guess that tells me the answer, doesn't it? If things go okay, I don't even need that. Uh, what's the double three on my board? Is there even double three anymore? I think I took one of the threes off, right? Yeah. So what I do is I remove... Well, no, I can't summon you from hand, so you start on board. I just put one of these that I can summon from hand back. Ham? Summon from hand back on the bench. Okay, if I do it this way... The other interesting thing... Well, no, I want I want one of the Barbas up front. I want one of the Barbas up front. And then this duelist pulls out some more stuff. Uh, it could be. I just don't know that it's useful in this spot based on how my board is constructed and works. Chair is a four. Yeah, chair is a four. Oh, chairs. Wait, this treasure doesn't matter. This treasure doesn't matter. Does it? It doesn't, right? <laughs> I mean, I gotta leave this fool on the board. It doesn't really matter. As long as I can pull that out, too. I guess it doesn't matter, but it doesn't hurt to have it if it helps. But the treasure doesn't really matter. Mm, we need scam. Scam matters. Scam definitely matters. Permanent attack by two, lose all your stuff, no. Wolf it? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, slow that down just a, just a hair, just in case something happens that I don't like right there. Slow that right up. I could fling that, I'd rather have a Cersei's. But I guess I will go ahead and use that. 
I'm looking for uh, Cersei's Cup to lock for next fight, if there is a next fight. I'm hoping I can win the game, but I'm not convinced that that's going to happen here. I think it adds like a thousand with all the mo- Oh, yeah, yeah, follower, no, hey, yeah. Yeah, okay. That makes a good point, because on the Barbarossas, it is really good. The super cool finals with Duke where I etched in upgraded mirror on the wall with double entrance yesterday. Aw, oh, teched in, teched in. Yeah, that is so cool. Had to move around so much stuff on his board. Super fun. That's awesome. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, right into the chair. Wait. Why does that work like that? What? What? <laughs> Click. I scroll back and I see chair prevents the bad hit on duelist. <laughs> Click. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely, definitely blame Click, obviously. Guess I should have wolfed the duelist. I didn't realize that my tech piece wasn't going to actually do what it said it did. Are you joking me? They both died, didn't they, Shift? I saw that too. Chair only protects the left one. You're going to make me move it. I, uh, you're serious? You... Those little Michael Michael Jackson sounds intensify. Chair had a broken leg. What in the heck? <laughs> Bruh. How, 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 how you gonna how you gonna buy the tech piece to protect your butt and it doesn't work? How? How? It's even upgraded too. It's like a super fancy chair. It's like the best version of the chair it possibly could be. Whatever, let's do this. Let's end this. Let's go. Mage Cleave is functionally three hits. Chair eats the first two. It's weird. Okay. I'm sure I, I saw people talking about it yesterday, so I'm sure someone's reported this as like, hey, that doesn't work right. That's no good. 